Wad is an MDVA smasher, brother to Rishi, aka Smash God, and an amazing Peach player. In this video, we'll be taking a closer look at the guide Lod has released at how to improve at Super Smash Brothers. Lod starts off by coining the sequence of steps as the Golden Pathway, which he believes Armada to have taken and Zane and Crush to possibly be taking. He then describes the importance of learning your character, learning combos, and a variety of other things we've seen in melee guides before. Particularly unique is Lod's explanation of the neutral game, starting with the term Prediction Confirmation. An extension of the whiff punish, prediction confirmation is expecting a certain option from an opponent, and then, upon seeing it, confirming a punish or other option. Here, left and short hops forward, PPMD dash dances, and he punishes. While whiff punishing describes outspacing or avoiding moves in general, and then punishing, prediction confirmation is actually the anticipation of a specific move, reacting, and then priming oneself to respond accordingly. Moving on to what actually makes up the neutral game, Law defines five different layers, the first being pure randomness. The second layer is a lot of hard reads, not to be confused with mix-ups, and we all know the melee community loves their hard reads. Layer 3 is all about prediction confirmation, and having a single move in mind that you expect an opponent to commit to. Maybe you expect two moves, or three moves, or maybe even four. This segues into layer 4, which is whiff punishing. Instead of reacting to the startup of a roll or some other move, you can react to the movement options that lead into the set of moves you're avoiding. Lod gives the example of seeing an approaching short hop. In layer 3 of neutral, you might specifically anticipate an aerial on your shield. In layer 4, you position yourself to avoid and possibly punish a variety of different options. As Fox, left and crouch cancels, ready to confirm a down tilt or grab. He's effectively covered maybe 12 or so options, but he loses to anything outside of that scope, like a spaced aerial to shield. Finally, layer 5 of neutral is top-level melee, comprising of mix-ups. A mix-up can't be reacted to by another player, and is similar to complex rock-paper-scissors. Mix-ups can beat prediction confirmation and whiff punishing, which rely on committal options and subsequent punishes. PB and D and Leffen are close enough to each other to the point where they can't react at all. Marth can dash in her aerial to try and hit Fox, or he can wave dash back, wave dash in place, or dash dance. These options aren't committal or reactable, and if Fox chooses to also play non-committally, PPMD retains stage control, so the next exchange is still in his favor. It takes an excellent understanding of whiff punishing and prediction confirmation to know what mix-ups will work and which ones won't, and even then, it's not guaranteed. Based on this explanation, though, you might be wondering why all of Melee isn't just mix-ups if it's such an optimal way to play. Well, mix-ups can lead to more favorable chances of winning a neutral exchange, but ultimately fail to live up to the punishing potential of a hard read or a whiff punish. Law defines this as the distribution of weights, being the consideration of a move's likelihood of winning neutral, starting a combo, and risk of being punished if it whiffs. Most of us are familiar with simpler examples of this, like when a Marth goes for a risky dash grab on Final Destination because the reward is so good. Distribution of weights is just a more thorough analysis of risk and reward. Finally, Laud leaves us with the following quote. Every player starts out with a board of red lights. Each time an interaction occurs and you understand why you won or lost that interaction, one of the red lights turns green. The players that improve the most efficiently are the ones that convert their board to green lights the fastest. Laud is known for a consistent neutral game, and his ability to articulate what makes a neutral game is indicative of a greater understanding of it. Be sure to support Laud for making such a great guide and check it out in the description below, and thank you for watching and subscribe.